Hey there. Uh, for those of you who don't know, uh, my name is Nick Klein. Um, I decided to make this video because um, I decided it was the right time for this video. How many times have you caught yourself laying awake at night? It could be pitch black or staring at the ceiling or just staring at the back of your eyelids with your eyes closed and you're just kind of in a state of thought just lying there and how would it be to describe that state of thought to somebody else um, how would it be to try to describe the indescribable well I've had those moments and just yesterday I happened to spend a few minutes of my time um, staying up later than I should have and writing something out trying to describe and put into detail like, trying to explain the unexplainable so um, this is what I came up with and I just wrote this off the top of my head and I let a few people proofread it to see what they thought about it and they really enjoyed it so I thought I'd make a video narrate it myself uh, for all you to enjoy. So, here it goes. So first of all, there's your body. The biological, organic, blood-filled, muscle-controlled, skeleton-supported, fleshy host. Then there is your brain. This fleshy, nerve-filled organ that is constantly shooting countless impulses through brain cells, neurons, and nerves all throughout this thing that is so preciously protected and preserved inside a skull that has an incredibly complex, intricate, and beautifully thoroughly designed system of nerves which connect from this brain down the skeletal spine and all throughout the body that pass electrical impulses from the brain through these organic wires we call nerves that connect to muscles which allow for control, sensation, and reaction of the external environment. All of these muscular contractions are a series of tiny microscopic biological cells all working together somehow that respond to this nervous stimulation from the brain to generate tremendous forces to control and move the body. Now, a few things such as heartbeat, breathing, and blinking are pretty involuntary. So somehow the body has like an autopilot setting for running programs in the background to keep things alive and operational. However, there is this amazing manual override feature that comes with this body that is somehow activated through the brain and its ability to observe, understand, reason, and decide based on its external environment. So while the background programs keep oxygen flowing in and blood circulating throughout the body, the immediate program makes conscious decisions about when to move, where to move, and how fast to move. Its processor works in such a way that it uses compiled knowledge and understanding of physical reality to maneuver through and around our physical environment. Now, here's the fun part, the conscious part. Somewhere inside the brain, thoughts form, ideas form, and imagination exists in some type of metaphysical realm that is mysteriously transmitted from the intangible to the tangible. And in this metaphysical realm of thought and imagination exists an observer of the thoughts, one who can also think about thoughts and the nature of an idea. That is my favorite part. Somehow, while closing my eyes and shutting off visual perception, an inner perception awakens, a perception of formless and shapeless existence that can become anything you can create. Taking everything you know and everything you wonder about, you can combine the two for an amazing display of creative imagination that only you and your observer can perceive. This realm allows for infinite creativity of boundless proportions that can be focused on and transmitted back from the metaphysical to the physical and into reality to create and share with another creator. Everything we could ever possibly see in the universe is only the first half of the artwork that gives us a foundation. Anything and everything else that exists gives light to a completely new spectrum of ideas and imaginative creations based on what is and what could be. The second half of the creation comes from you, 
the observer, the one who senses that there is thought, the one who can perceive your imagination, the one who can add, subtract, multiply, divide, twist, bend, color, and any other possibility you can come up with to modify what already exists in a metaphysical perception inside the mind. The conscious mind is an incredibly powerful thing. From the outside, it is invisible, but from the inside, well, just close your eyes and listen to my voice and look around at what is created when you hear my voice. That place is the realm of the future. Don't let it go to waste.